oh, hey there, wonderful humans. I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside EduCreator OS. I'm childishly excited and a little bit nervous because it's not quite finished yet, but we're going to dive in anyway. So when you download it, there's two main sides to it. The first is the creative process where you'll be taking information from the World Wide Web and putting it into action in projects at the bottom of the process. Then on the other side, you've got operations and management. And this is all the behind the scenes stuff. Both are viewable via separate dashboards, the creative dashboard and the business dashboard. We're going to dive into the creative side first, and we're going to give you a quick little tour about the other things. And here goes. So starting from the intake, you're going to be taking things from around the world, reading cool articles and amazing stuff. So here's a place that you can build a practice of mindful consumption by reflecting on what you're digesting and bring it all together in one place. Moving on to the digestion and notes, you're going to start to make sense of it and make it your own. So really constructing your knowledge, wrestling with it and turning it into different formats. And to help with that, I've created a bunch of different templates inside here. Everything from tweet storms to small book summaries. Moving on from there. Oh yeah, there's these little exercises at the end of each thing to make it actionable. And going on from there, teaching resources. So you've wrestled with your knowledge a little bit. You've had some discussions with your team about what a certain thing is or isn't. And then you're going to collect your teaching resources here. These are finalized things like diagrams and slide decks and all the cool stuff, worksheets and videos. Then we're going to start to weave that together into projects. Now, I've created a couple workflows here, but your team or you might just need separate ones. And I'll record a separate video about that later, setting that up. Right now, I've got a video production workflow, a workshop creation workflow, and here's the one that I'll be using in the, the tutorial, the online course workflow. But this is all working off of the same database, and that database is viewable. At the bottom of some of these pages, there's a configure thing, and you can set up the different workflows, and then just close that, and then with a little bit of wiggle, you'll create these cute little workflows. So if I go into one of the projects here, let's say the video production workflow and click the templates, you can see there's a bunch of templates there from online courses to new podcasts and interviews. You may have already seen the online course template, but we're going to jump into it again. You've got stuff in here from setting the learner transformation and course objectives, empathy maps and curriculum outlines. This has helped a few people I know before the launch to get their team together and on the same page, keep all the assets and all the stuff in the right place, and then move this along the, the project's flow. So everyone can stay coordinated as you're creating these things. Moving on, this is all tied into the creator's dashboard. Um, this is just the high level of everything that's moving from your intake to your projects. You can set what content is coming up and what's falling behind. And then you can see everything from your teaching resources, what you're still processing in the digestion section. And then you'll have this long tail of just information that you're taking off the internet or from different sources and books that you have to teach from. So that's the creator side. The other side is the business dashboard, but we're not going to go there. We're going to start here at the toolkit which is an interactive toolkit. I didn't like these boring, just here's a list. So I made a choose your character toolkit where you can move through it and go pick the tools specifically for content creation, demand generation, demand capture, and how you'll deliver your service to your clients. And here they are, all these tools. From there to demand generation, I've separated that into channels and then like your mailing system, which one do you want to pick? What do you want to use? And you'll go through this and basically click active, which will display it in different dashboards around the product. So let's say I click a bunch of them. I'll use Gumroad. This will be shown to me in different dashboards. I'm going to stop using Gumroad one day and then I can remove it from the subscriptions tracker, for example. So here's this toolkit keep storing all the good things you use here and you'll get this readout at the end which basically says hey these are all the cool tools you're using toolkit next thing business dashboard so right now the notion api hasn't come out so i've left here the two main notion metrics tools and also a bookmark for your google analytics link so that you can have your 
dashboard right in front of you. In future releases, when the API is out, we will send you an updated version of this dashboard so you can use it with some automations that we'll be creating walkthroughs for so that you can have all of your data streams running into one amazing place once the API is released. The next part is goal setting. I like to use agile results, which is free wins for the quarter, free wins for the week, and free wins for the day, but you might want to do OKRs and that's okay. Then you've got these different business areas and key resources. The key resources are related to different business areas. That's fun. A business area example here is the products and services section. If I jump into here, then I can see all the different products and services that we offer, the courses that I have. And if that was a gallery view, it would be so much prettier. So let's do that. And then also feedback here, we can see what product decisions we want to make or where we want to make improvements. So that's just one of the sections there. Scrolling down. Finally, we have the topics area in the business dashboard, which is basically just what you're going to be teaching. And there, there will be different contextual dashboards showing you what you're intaking based on that topic, what you're uh, digesting based on that topic, and what resources you have on that topic. I'm going to jump to the business resources and just show you a couple of those real quick. My favorite one so far, just because it's been a kind of act of love and passion and creation of mine, is creating this cute little learning experience design guide. This is really just an overview of learning experience design, some principles, and also some tips on great learning and great teaching. So here I've created a bunch of visual diagrams covering everything from learning and identity to what is learning to knowledge, virtuous cycles of learning. Yeah, it goes on. Principles of learning experience design, and also a link to my Miro canvas, which has the learning experience design canvas. And there you have it. There's a quick tour of the things so far. There's still a couple more things that I need to build before we launch it on March 2nd, but I hope that's given you enough context for what's on the inside. Things I didn't show you were the get online guide, also some of the stuff on monetization, all of these things, they'll be included in the final product. I look forward to hearing from some of you guys and uh, feel free to reach out on Twitter. I'm Love talking to people and hearing what you guys are up to.